Jesse, first thing to talk about is your first goal, which uh, uh, you know is, is the highlight, I imagine, of the evening. And just to just talk us through a little bit about it, because did someone tread on your foot after it went in as well? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I was so happy to obviously score, but the first thing I thought was like, ouch, my foot's in pain. But um, the goal itself, um, cross came in, and there was a little that like, bounce off Willow, and I thought there's a chance here to score. So, yeah, just right place, right time. So, yeah, I'm grateful. I know that you came off after an hour or so, and I know the managers worked very hard on your fitness, but I suppose it's a case of managing that, isn't it, to make sure you don't have to, to go through too much too soon? Yeah, um, the manager's been like big on managing my fitness and managing my minutes. Um, and I'm really grateful for that because I know a lot of managers will just rush you in and just you will have to deal with it. But um, I'm grateful to him for managing my minutes. And um, yeah, I hope um, I can get more minutes in the future. Well, it's, it's been a bit of, I think it's fair to say, a bit of a funny start because, you, you know, you came in, you had a couple of games and then, yeah. then, not, then this time last week, which was the red card, and yeah. now you've scored a goal. So you've had an eventful first few weeks. What's it been like from your point of view? Eventful, <laughs> <laughs> honestly. Like, um, started off um, against Sutton, came in, come on against Sutton and Bolton. Felt like I'd done all right. Manager said I'd done all right. Um, got my first start on Tuesday. Got a yellow card after like eight minutes. I thought, oh, I could be in trouble here. Then got a second yellow card. Um, walked down the tunnel. You know, it wasn't a great feeling. But um, and I was ill. I was ill after the game, so I missed a few days of training. Um, but you know that's part of football. You have ups, you have downs, and you just have to stay in the middle. And because um, days like today happen, and you score a goal, so you just have to you know remain humble and remain level, and um, take it as it comes. Has it been maybe a, a big learning curve? Because I know you've played a lot of football in in the non-league, but to to come into the football league like this and have all that in such a short space of time is that has that been quite steep for you? Yeah, um, the red card was a big learning curve. Um, I thought it was harsh. The manager thought it was harsh, but. The rules are a bit different here, um, and that's something I need to get used to. Um, and the ref sent me off; he made his decision. But um, as you said, it's all about learning and getting better. And um, thank you to the gaffer for picking me for when I was next available. Do you know what I mean? So, yeah, grateful for that. I was going to say, without dwelling on the negative, but you know, it, it would be easy to kind of say, right, you need to learn more. But he's obviously got faith in you, and he's, he's talked a lot about you in his press conferences about what you bring to the side, and he obviously thinks quite highly of you. Yeah, um, as I said, I'm really grateful for that. Um, I've heard a few of his post-match interviews, and I can only, you know, re like repay him by my performances because he instills that trust in me which I am grateful for and um, I know I'll get better. I know what I can do and where I can go. Um, I feel like, because I like to learn, I like to progress. So, And it's a good plan here, good plan in place, good team, good, good environment. And I'm just grateful to be here. What are you looking at for your own development as to what you want to get from the next stage in your, your career personally and being part of the team as well? What's, what's the kind of next step for you, do you think? Um, I just want to get to a point where I'm playing week in, week out to help the team. Um, if it's off the bench, if it's starting, that's up to the gaffer. But I just want to be able to, you know, develop as a player, you know, develop areas of my game, but ultimately help the team win because we're all here for the same reason. You know what I mean? So, <clears throat> so um, I really want to obviously see how far we can go and how how high we can reach. You know what I mean, as a team. Um, but the managers talked about your, your qualities and your attributes, you know, the, the, your physical strength and your size and also your pace as well. Uh, those are all things that don't always come with central defenders at this level. So do you feel you've got a good starting point to develop all those things with what you, with your already natural attributes? Yeah, um, funny enough, I was actually a striker till I was like 17, 18. So um, switching to the back, having those attributes, it's important I don't take them for granted though. Um, the manager tells me, you know, don't take it for granted, which is true, um, because there are going to be players that are physical, are fast, and um, it's up to me to make sure I hone in on the details of the other side of the game, tactical, you know, looking over my shoulders, being in a good position to read the runs of the striker, give myself some room, and sorry to bore you, but things like that, do you know what I mean? No, so, no. yeah. Um, there's a there's a real range of experience in there. There's lads like Kofi Barmer who are from mm. Premier League clubs. Lads at Jason Lowe played in the Championship. Nathan Smith who's been here virtually all his career. So it's a real good mix of other defenders that you're getting lots of different things from. Yeah, um, Kofi, um, Alex, um, Smudge, um, Dan Jones. You know all of them. Um, Cassie as well. You know I'm learning from them as well. Um, they're all great players, and um, it's just about pushing each other to make the gaffer have a hard decision on who to play. 
And if we get that right, then we're going to win more games than we're going to lose. And as I said, it will be exciting times for the team. Does that competition help you maintain a high standard when you're training? And then, like you say, when you do get picked, you, you kind of think to yourself, well, you know, I've, I've got to play at a high standard here because if I don't play well, then somebody could easily come in and take my place. 100%. And that's high-level football. You know, if you're not you know, producing the goods, someone else will come in. Um, it's a very ruthless business, but you have to back yourself. And I do back myself. Um, and yeah, you're just learning from each other and pushing each other. And ultimately, that's only going to breed success in the group. So it's exciting time.